Hello friends, welcome to another OFC lecture. In this tutorial, we'll talk about numerical aperture. Numerical aperture is the ability of the fiber to gather light. Please understand this is uh, similar to the aperture of the camera where uh, the more light that goes into the camera results in a better picture. So <clears throat> numerical aperture is also the ability of the fiber to gather light or collect light and why is this important because we wish to send the light into the core only we never send the light into cladding so whenever the light is being sent it also has to take care of the critical angle this is critical angle so the acceptance angle that we have already discussed in the previous tutorials uh, will determine how much opening is allowed into the axis of the core so basically we need to send the light within the solid angle region of this cone which is known as the acceptance cone if we send the light from here or from here it will make an angle which will be not good as a critical angle so this much could be thought of as the area from where the light could get into the fiber or into the core so the ability of the core to absorb light from within this area is known as numerical aperture and simply put the formula for numerical aperture is under root of n1 square minus n2 square where n1 is the core refractive index and n2 is the cladding refractive index so this is numerical aperture But sometimes you are not directly given the refractive index of core and cladding. You could also be given as this term which is known as index difference. If index difference is given which is the difference of n1 minus n2 then what you could do is you could rearrange this formula something like this n1 minus n2 into n1 plus n2 this is index difference and you could assume n1 to be approximately equivalent to n2 there is not much of a difference so you could say this is 2 n1 so another formula that you could remember for numerical aperture is under root 2 twice of n1 into delta n now where delta n is index difference this is case number one and sometimes or rather more number of times relative refractive index is given which is delta and it is equivalent to n1 minus n2 upon n1 so you could say this is delta n1 is equal to n1 minus n2 so putting this into numerical apertures formula we get n1 minus n2 n1 plus n2 this could be thought of as into n1 where this delta is only the 
relative refractive index and one is the core index and this again could be thought of as twice of n1 so n1 square can get n1 out of the under root and we are left with delta into uh, 2 or n1 under root 2 delta so these are the three formulas that you can remember number 1 number 2 number 3 this is in terms of index difference this is in terms of relative refractive index and this is in terms of eta 1 and eta 2 well that's about it for today's tutorial i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel also i'll see you around bye